Hey guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to episode 60, no, where did it go, 64, 34 maybe, of your bucket plugging tutorials, and today we're going to be doing about headshots, so getting players' uh, actual location on their body and entities being hit by things, so in our plugin uh, class we just want to make this implement um, listener, so we can actually use the listeners in this class, so here, to use that we just do get server, uh, dot get plugin manager, dot register 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 events in this class um, and we're gonna take this as the plugin argument. So down here uh, we just want to do at event handler um, and we want to do a public void uh, on entity damage by entity um, and in here it takes entity damage by entity event event like that so we want to check if the uh, g cause of the uh, this this event occurring is equal to a projectile hitting them so if you don't get if the event dot get cause is not equal to damage cause uh, dot projectile then we just want to return out of this method so we don't want to do anything uh, because it's not um, that so actually that's what I do is uh, uh, priority equals normal uh, control space if you don't know uh, and then comma and then ignore cancelled equals false so we're not ignoring it if this event is cancelled already we're just gonna have to go straight through it anyway so yeah now oh, sorry <coughs> we want to get the projectile that hit them so projectile um, proj <laughs> equals projectile in brackets um, and that's going to be the event dot get damager. Well, something happened then. Get damager, because um, it's not actually going to give you a skeleton or whatever it shot you. It's it's actually going to be that's what the damager is. Um, can that be resolved to a type? Why not? Because that's spelled wrong. Projectile. Okay. So if the uh, projectile. So if the projectile. Uh, dot get shooter uh, is an instance of a player. And we're going to invert that by putting an exclamation mark at the front and putting everything else in brackets. Then we just want to return um, um, because we we don't want to check if it's a player. We want to check if um, sorry sorry we want to check if it's a player. We don't want to we don't care if the shooter is a skeleton or whatever. We want to check if a player shot another player. So the entity victim. Well, the entity shot um, is the event dot get entity, so that's the entity that's been shot. Uh, so if we import that from bucket, uh, and the entity uh, shot entity type is going to be shot dot get type. Okay, so now we're going to get the projectile, um, the projectile's you know coordinates. Um, mm -hmm. yes, entity type. Sorry, like that. So anyway, we're gonna get the um, the double of the y, which is going to be the projectile. Uh, we're gonna get the location of it, and we're gonna get the y. Obviously, uh, we copy this. Or oh, wait, nah, no, don't copy it. So double um, the shot y. So the location of the players that's been shot. Uh, his y. Is going to be victim. Uh, dot get location, not victim. Shot dot get location. Dot get y. Um, and then we want to do boolean headshot. So this is going to check if it's a headshot or not. And that's going to be projectile y uh, minus the shot y is greater than 1.35d. So what this is saying is the boolean headshot uh, projectile. Y no, it's just one. So we're saying this is boolean headshot. So that's going to be equal to true if y is minus the shot y. So if the uh, y of the shot minus the player's heads like y. So we've got the arrow in him, and we're going to take away the head is greater than their head. So 1.35d is the bottom of their head. Then what we're going to do 
is we're going to say if headshot. Then what we're going to do is we're going to set the damage to a new uh, whatever we want to set it to. So event dot set damage uh, event dot get damage um, damage. I'm just going to double it. So we say event dot get damage times by two. Um, if I put the time symbol in. Uh, and then we're going to send a message to the player, and we're going to say, um, uh, we're going to make a string builder, um, and this is going to be the message, and this is going to be equal to a new string builder. So this is a, a string builder, obviously. And if there's a headshot, so another way of doing this is putting headshot, and then a question mark. So if headshot is true, then we're going to send a message saying, you shot. Um, who did they shoot in the head? They shot uh, the victim, didn't they? So if you shot victim dot get um, no not victim, I keep on thinking victim shot dot get display name um, shot um, cast this to player. So player shot dot get display name um, in the head. Like that. Um, we actually don't need the string builder. We just need a string. Actually, no, we don't. String builder. Um, cool. So you shot this person in the head. Um, and then we want to. Why is that erroring? No, no, we don't. We don't need this. We. Mm. Yeah. So string um so if there's a headshot if um, this is in my case just headshot if there's a headshot you so you shot uh like that um so I should just leave this headshot and then we can do uh um we need an else don't we so uh, like that uh so basically that means if there's a headshot you shot them in the head, um, and if it's not a headshot, um, then we'll say you didn't get a headshot on. So, and here we can just put you got a headshot on. It's difficult doing things live. <laughs> and then if um, the shot player dot is an instance of player, so if the shot player is a player, uh, then we're going to do message dot append so we're going to append the message and we're going to put uh, a space first and then shot um, player shot dot get display name uh, and then we're going to add another space we need another space actually so we'll leave it like that um, and else uh, if it's not a player then we're going to append the message by saying message dot append um, and we're going to put a space actually we don't need a space do we if we remove spaces here then we'll be there we can just put a space afterwards in the append part so plus um, shot dot get enter dot get type there we go um, dot get type dot get name so again the name of the type and then what we can do is we can do player um, projectile dot get shooter so we're getting the shooter of the projectile and we're gonna send them a message saying message and we're not sending them a block change we're not sending them a block change we're sending them a message saying message dot to string because it's a string builder so yeah thanks for watching <laughs> actually we don't need that either why did I make that so I'm going to export this now so I've actually updated the plugin that I'm on. Um, I'm going to call this headshot. And I'll see you guys in the oh no, that plugin that I'm on. See you guys in the game. Okay, and we're back with uh, with Boogie Rama. He's Austin. So say hi. Um, he's he's helping us test out this plugin. Um, so if you see if I shoot him in the foot, uh, or if I just if I just shoot him it says I got a headshot oh no I shot him too high so if, if I shoot him in the head if I shoot him twice you'll see he, he dies um 
So you see that? Uh, if I shoot him just like down here, it, it won't say that I've got a headshot on him. Um, so yeah, if I, if I give him some bows, shoot me in the head. Okay, he's gonna shoot me in the head. Um, and it's gonna do a hell of a lot more damage than it normally would. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, favorite. If you want a custom plugin made, then go into the description. There's a link uh, where you can go get a custom plugin um, made for you by me. Um, so yeah, leave a like, go subscribe, watch other videos. Don't just watch the programming things. Go check out gaming if you like it. Then be sure to tell us if you don't. Tell us why. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.